VGK made a surprise trade on Wednesday, acquiring 27-year-old defenseman Noah Hannafin from Cal Gary for Daniil Marimanov as the principals. Kelly McCrimmon might say, well, we fleeced them. We'll talk about that, of course, coming up. And now the questions that arise, whose spot does Hannafin take in the lineup? And why trade for a defenseman? It's all ahead right here on Lockdown Golden Knights. Your Locked On Golden Knights, your daily podcast on the Vegas Golden Knights, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Hi again, everyone. Tony Cardasco, Chris Golick from Las Vegas. Thanks for making us your first listen each and every day. Make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel, Locked On Golden Knights. So, Chris, the BGK was one of 24 teams on his list of teams that he wanted to be traded to. And Noah Hannafin was traded to BGK. Do we check the list? Are we sure? Are we sure? I did go through the list. I checked we checked the list? Okay, let's make sure. Okay. Okay, so biggest question that uh, looms right now, whose spot does he take in the lineup? Alec Martinez, is he really hurt on IR or what's going on there? And uh, where does Hannafin wind up in the lineup? All right, so where does he – I think the lineup question was first, and it's pretty simple. Martinez is going to be out for – I mean, how long Martinez is going to be out for? There's no path for this to work with Martinez coming back to the Golden Knights. Let's be clear about that first and foremost. Did the Golden Knights officially move Martinez to LTIR, by the way, or yet or no? I just saw So IR. Martinez, he's on IR right now. Okay. <laughs> if Alec Martinez goes to LTIR, that's another $5 million. Oh, my God. Um, so Martinez is going to be out. Hannafin's going to be in. I believe Petrangelo, Hannafin up top, the first D pairing, and then the bottom two D pairing staying as is. What this means for Alec Martinez now and later, I think he's out, plain and simple. Uh, Martinez, I don't see a path to him coming back into the lineup. Technically, financially, it could, unless there's another trade that's going to happen from a lower defenseman. We can talk about that later, but I honestly think Martinez has played his last game as a Vegas Golden Knights. Yeah, very well could be. Uh, Calgary Flames, their fire sale continues. Hannafin dumped. Elias Lindholm dumped to Vancouver. Chris Tanev sent to Dallas. So their fire sale continues. And one of the things about Hannafin now, there was one big-time report already on Wednesday that said that the 27-year-old blue liner already, there are extension talks in progress with VGK. Eight years and sixty million is what he was looking for uh, there with the Calgary Flames. What happens now? He's going to break the bank here in Vegas. Oh, God, I don't think he's going to get seven million, but he might. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, it, it does shore up the defense for a long time, so I certainly like it from that perspective. Martinez has been breaking down. If we're simply going to look at this as Martinez. Or Hannafin, who would you rather have? 100 times out of 100, you're, of course, you're going to take Hannafin in that spot. And we're not knocking Martinez. He has had an amazing career, and his career may not be done yet. He may move on to another team and have a Jonathan Quick-like resurgence. There you go. Martinez to the New York Rangers for you, Tony. There you go. No. So we'll Thank see you. how things shake out there. But Hannafin becoming a Golden Knight for four, five, six, eight, ten years, however long it's going to be, um, it's certainly a nice move for the Golden Knights for now and for later. And the fact that the Golden Knights are giving up a first and it's a third technically that, that could swell to a second as long as the Golden Knights win a playoff round, which I feel a lot better about that now than I did 48 short hours ago. But this is it's not just about a rental. That's the nice thing about this particular mm -hmm. trade. So McCrimmon is up here for those watching on YouTube. For those not watching on YouTube, I'm using my hand graphics. McCrimmon is up here. The best GMs in the NHL are right about here. Every other GM is not even on the screen. Where, where am I at? Where am I at on this? On, as a journalist or as graphic. an entertainer? Oh, man. As an entertainer, I'm probably up pretty high, right? Huge. I have to admit. Huge in yeah. Denmark. Definitely. Okay. 
huge in Denmark. Okay, so we are recording this on Wednesday night, and at 8.02 p.m., news dump time, uh, they announced the trade <laughs> details to Vegas. I'll Noah how it worked out in this case, but I'll give it to you. Sure. <laughs> to Cal, Gary, Danil Marimanoff, a first-round pick and a conditional third-round pick to Philadelphia because we thought that there would be another dance partner uh, in one of these deals. Okay, VGK's 2024 fifth-round pick. VGK, I think, is – they're out of picks, right? They've got to be out of draft picks this year. Uh, that's going to be great. Okay, let's have the draft at the Sphere in Las so Vegas. So the and trade no picks for looks, VGK? So the first pick, Tony, was a 2025 – the Golden oh, okay. Knights still got their 2024 first round draft yeah, pick. Yeah, they got to go to the podium at the sphere. And this the third good. round draft pick. And the third wow. round draft pick. Way too many draft picks. Okay. Salary cap implications. Where are we at? Hmm. Plenty of room. Plenty of room. So, as it sits right now, this second, the Golden Knights have $3.8 million of cap space to utilize. There are reports that Dorofiev could be returned. Dorofiev was in a red, I believe, today, from what I remember seeing on the reports. Will Carey was supposed to skate. However, he was ill, so he was not able to skate. Howden and Martinez are still question marks. Carrier's and Dorofiev's salaries are hitting the Golden Knights already, so that doesn't change anything once they rejoin the team. Alec Martinez win, not if. When Alec Martinez goes to LTIR, is going to move that number somewhere in the $8 million range. Cooking the books. They're cooking them pretty pretty hot and heavy right now. I would, I would like some information about, I mean, listen, we've seen this with the Golden Knights before, right? When Mark Stone last year, I was someone, I was one of the few people that caught on early with this, by the way, and I will give myself full props on this one. Mark Stone was announced as out indefinitely when he had a setback in January. Everyone was like, he's done, he's done, he's done. Local media people, national media people, Mark Stone is done. I said, well, wait a minute here. All they said was indefinitely. That's that, that's a strange word in, in sports, not just national, not just the National Hockey League. And then Cassidy walked it back in a press conference that I still to this day was never able to find on Twitter. It's the only one that I've never saw get posted, but I watched the, I watched it live or something. I can't remember exactly what it was, or maybe it was in the written, whatever it was point being, he said, well, there is a chance he could recover and things like the comments started getting twisted right there. Mm -hmm. So point being is the trajectory with Alex Petran or Alec Petrangelo tomorrow, Alec Petrangelo, who is Alec Petrangelo? Is that Logan Hill and uh, Aiden no, Thompson? No, no, no. Don't go there, please. I don't want you to uh, I, got, I got the yips. I got the yips. No, yeah. so let's try this again. Alec Martinez. Alec? That's the defenseman. I'll Did you say Alex? Martinez. You said Alec. Petrangelo first. Okay. Alex. But Martinez. 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 Okay. Golden Knights will probably say something about Martinez and his injury tomorrow. That's a little, a little open-ended, but if you read between the lines, you're going to see that he's not playing the rest of the season. Okay. And then For Hannafin. For Hannafin. Yeah. Big season, career season. You know how much I love those career Ooh, seasons. Ooh, career season. Let's go, Tony. All right. Again, uh, he is a free agent at the end of this season. 11 goals. Does he make more than William Carlson? He does play 23 minutes and 46 seconds per game. What a tandem. What a tandem him and Petrangelo are going to be. Just think about that. They'll combine for 50 minutes per game, for sure. Yeah. yeah. And then I no, also that's... thought... That's kind of crazy, right? And then no, you don't need any other defensive pairings. Uh, and then I also thought that uh, perhaps when I saw Hannafin news that uh, surfaced last week, his name was out there a lot. And I thought that he might wind up with Florida because he is really good friends with Matt Kachuk. And that's a player that I thought he would wind up with. And Hannafin also was with the team for some reason. They knew that he was going to be traded, yet they traveled him to Tampa, and he was just going to be a scratch in the lineup anyway. So now he's traveling from Tampa to Las Vegas and all that. And so it's pretty crazy. I think, you know, the more I think about it, Cal Gary was so appreciative of the trade that landed Pahal there in Cal Gary that they decided to gift 
Hannafin to to Vegas. I, I'm definitely Future considerations definitely had to play a part in this too. Um, the one thing, something else that I did say earlier in in the week or maybe last week, I felt that it was odd the fact that Miramanov was playing ahead of the like the likes of like Korzak. You thought they were shopping um, them, and even Pahal for a while. That you know, I don't know if those two intersected, but point being is, I did state that I felt the Golden Knights were showcasing Miramanov. And I mean, apparently the the Cal one, two, we're never gonna get the show done in 30 minutes. We keep saying Calgary. Um, but uh, there's something in the water, I guess, with the, the Golden Knights lower end defensemen that the Flames like. And hey, I hope it works out. I mean, Pahal is getting more opportunities. Miramanov, he wasn't cracking this right, even with Martinez being out and Hutton possibly skating again. Mart, uh, there was no path for Miramanov on the roster. So good for Miramanov. Win win. Hopefully he has a wonderful career. And uh, welcome back, video. Two welcome back videos now when they when Pahal and Miramanov come back next year. Oh my goodness, that that's going to be fun. And I did remember it was one of our recent shows where I felt that Cassidy had slipped a little bit by saying, you know, you could make deals plural for players, right? And here we are, lots of deals. Is Kelly McCrimmon done? We're going to address that next. Stay with us right here on Lockdown Golden Knights. We're driven by the search for better, but when it comes to hiring, the best way to search for a candidate is not a search actually at all. It is to search for Indeed. Just go to Indeed. If you need to hire, you need Indeed. Indeed has your matching and hiring platform. Over 350 million global monthly visitors, according to Indeed data, and a matching engine that helps you to find quality candidates and fast. Ditch the busy work. Use Indeed for scheduling, for screening and messaging so you can connect with your candidates a lot faster. Join more than three and a half million businesses worldwide that use Indeed to hire great talent fast. And listeners of this Locked On Golden Knights show, you will get a $75 sponsored job credit to get your jobs more visibility on Indeed.com slash Locked On. Just go to Indeed.com slash lockdown right now and support our show. And all you have to do is say that you heard about Indeed on this very controversial podcast. It's not controversial. I just thought I threw that in. See if you were awake. Ask. Okay. See if you were awake there. Indeed.com slash lockdown. Terms and conditions apply. If you need to hire, you need Indeed. Welcome back. Locked on Golden Knights, Tony Cardasco and Chris Golick from Las Vegas. We appreciate you making us your first lesson each and every day. Thank you so much for doing so. Make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel that is Locked on Golden Knights. And don't forget Friday's WTF, which you can find audio and video of. Then on Saturday, it's the YouTube exclusive with Chris times Chris Golick and son and daughter sometimes too. Shut up, Tony. And the cat. Cat, everything. The cat made the, uh, the appearance there. That was pretty cool. Everything. everything. Before we go into uh, Is McCrimmon Done, uh, just some Cassidy comments earlier in the day on Wednesday. He alluded to the dog days. It's been really tough on the team. He said every time a veteran player like an Eichel a Carlson or a Huddy, <sighs> not for these nicknames. No, please don't give these two new players nicknames. Please, Bruce, please. He said every time if they come back into the lineup, this should energize. The team should bring new energy. And then Anthony Mantha did show up. He made it to Las Vegas, left his wife and child uh, back at home. Um, and Cassidy said he'll be playing on the Carlson line with Stevenson, who will play on the left wing, which you predicted a while ago, even pre-Mantha, pre-praying Mantha. And, you know, it's, you know, he said, uh, Mantha, he, he would definitely play him on the power play. And this guy with that big frame, Chris, has got to be your new bumper guy. He's got to be, right? At 6'4, 234 and a half pounds. I threw the half in there. I don't know, whatever it was. He's a big frame. <laughs> he had to get the Put hook in, in there. there. Put him in the middle. Put him in the bumper. He's, you need to no, do that. Man. Mantha's going to fit in just fine wherever coach puts him and and uh, he's going to be the ant man that's his official uh emoji for the lineup for the golden knights he's he's an ant ants ants he's an ant, ant if ant, anyone ant, called ant, me ant, ant i would 
be very upset. My name's Anthony uncle? too. Uncle? Oh. Okay, uncle. Yeah. Don't call me Ant. Okay. So go ahead. So he's the Ant. He's not the praying Mantha. What's 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 Hannafin going to be? What, what's his emoji going to be? I don't know. Oh, I got to be careful here. Yeah, got to be careful. Be careful. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> anyway, we'll talk. Never mind. We don't need to talk about that. And okay. then Cassidy Moving said, that forward. Mantha, "Yeah, <laughs> Cassidy said that Mantha has good hands, soft hands, good on the breakout, tough on the walls. Um, his defensive metrics were very solid. Mantha said himself that he could bring a lot of emotion and skill." And he said he's been really good on the four check this season. So Mantha Don't, made it to Vegas and will be in the lineup on Thursday night against Vancouver. Don't tell me for a second that Cassidy's not in the know about this stuff. If he's able to rattle all that off about him that quickly after after the trade happens. So right. That says that, I mean, Barbashev, we felt was a Cassidy guy. Mantha, we feel, is going to fit in as a Cassidy guy. So it's... Uh, you know, it's exciting. I mean, this has been a been a fun week as far as personnel goes. Right. And you feel as though perhaps McCrimmon is not done yet because there still is some space and enough room now to land another goaltender. There's eight a veteran. million dollars. A veteran goaltender. They can <laughs> add a goaltender. They can add Gensel. They can get McDavid if they want right now because McCrimmon is just a wizard at finding ways to make these trades happen. The one thing we didn't even talk about, I think, or we didn't talk much about it, the Gold Knights are on the hook for $1.25 million of his salary. $1.25 million. McCrimmon, so they got two, two starting wizard. players, right? Two starting frontline players. You have a top six wingman. I'm a top six wingman, too, my friends might say. And then you also have a solid defenseman who can score. And what was the total there? Around uh, less than five, right? Around four or something. 4.1. 4.1 for both of They're them. Paying, the Golden Knights are paying $4.1 million for Mantha and Hannafin. I'm sorry, guys. All well, the joking we it. do I'm, and stuff. No, I'm, but, I'm sorry, but the rest of the league is just stupid. I thought no one would want to trade with BGK. You're just I, I was on with Gil right before I jumped on here, kind of a similar uh, similar segment. And if if McCrimmon's going to play poker with me, he's going to do it in his sleeveless shirts because I don't trust the dude. He's going to have all sorts of aces up his sleeve and all sorts of ways to find a way to cheat me in a poker game. And the McCrimmon, eyebrows do not move. He's not going to tip you off. Hey, listen. Whatever it is, McCrimmon is an absolute genius. And as a fan, as media, as whatever it is that we do, you know, you've you're you're East Coast guy. You've been around sports your whole life, as was I in, in Chicagoland area. I've never seen anything like this in my life in a seven year run. A team from inception, a Stanley they Cup final, them, but they just gift him like all these players. And I, why is he gifting, or is he just better than 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 thirty one other GMs, Tony? They've just I mean, got to be stupid. Get credits. I'm sorry, man. I'll give him credit, but just the other GMs are not that they're not, bright. They're not. They're 31. They can't be that stupid, Tony. They're trusted with hundred million dollar payroll. The Golden Knights have their way. It's a hundred million dollar payroll, but it's I mean, two hundred million for VGK. Yeah, but they're only going to pay thirty six cents of it. <laughs> they are. That's for sure. I mean, but this no, is it's, it's pretty this is interesting, amazing. Like, right? How they made it aside. Happen. I'm sorry. We keep going on each other. And I'm just. I'm excited right now. Like, this is fun for me. Just fun watching McCrimmon absolutely do whatever it is he's doing, however these negotiations are happening. Like everyone that gave him so much garbage for future considerations and everything, go back to these last 24 hours. He just won himself the Jim Gregory Award for GM of the Year in, in, in two trades. He just won the Jim Gregory. As long as the Golden Knights do a little something in the playoffs, he just won the GM of the Year Award. So Hannafin, my opinion. So Hannafin, they lock down. Mantha, they don't. He's a rental. Probably, but I mean, you know, let's see. Let's see what happens. I mean, listen, we thought Barbashev was a rental. Riley Smith is gone. March still doesn't have a contract. And okay, mm. here's here's one, Tony. I'm gonna jump. We're, we're topic jumping. You're Jonathan March so. You don't have a contract right now. But the Golden Knights just brought in Noah Hannafin. Mm -hmm. They're already talking extension. Extension. And, Where is Marchessault's head right now? In that? And the Seriously. asking price was eight years and sixty million. Think about that. Done. 
Lock it up. Lock it up. Oh, March. So day one, we'll figure that out later. We like to take our time with this. Oof. Yeah. If you're March is so, yeah, there's got to be reason for concern. Very anxious. I'm enjoying, this new, I'm enjoying this new week. This is kind of fun. You're enjoying this. Okay. Well, it's only going to be fun if they can produce. And we will see starting tonight or starting on Thursday night, VGK back in action against Vancouver. Our previews coming up next right here on Locked On Golden Knights. Eating better is easy with Factors Delicious ready-to-eat meals. Every fresh, never-frozen meal is chef-crafted. It is dietitian improved and ready to go in just two minutes. That's right. You will have over uh, 35 different options to choose from every week, including Calorie Smart, Protein Plus, and Keto. And also, there are more than 60 add-ons that will help you say uh, that you, or stay, I should say, that you are fueled up and feeling good all day long. What are you waiting for? Get started today and get after your goals. Two-minute meals, again, fuel up fast with Factors restaurant-quality meals that are ready to heat up, and you can eat whenever you are ready. Pancakes, smoothies, and more. Discover a wide variety of easy of easy options uh, for the entire day, like breakfast, midday bites, and much, much more. It's flexible for your schedule. You can get as much or as little as you need by choosing your meals every week. Plus, you can pause or reschedule your deliveries at any time. Head to factormeals.com slash LockedOnNHL50 and use the promo code LockedOnNHL50 to get 50% off. Again, promo code LockedOnNHL50 at factormeals.com slash LockedOnNHL50 and you will get 50% off. Did you know that uh, even if you have a 401k currently for retirement, you can still have an IRA account? That's right. Robinhood has the only IRA that gives you a 3% boost on each and every dollar that you contribute when you su subscribe to Robinhood Gold. That's right. It's Robinhood Gold. But get this. Now through April the 30th, Robinhood is even boosting every single dollar that you transfer in from other retirement accounts with a 3% match. That's right, no cap on the 3% match. Robinhood Gold, it is really good, and it gets you the most for your retirement thanks to their IRA account and their 3% match. This offer is good only through April the 30th, so get started at Robinhood.com uh, slash boost. Again, Robinhood.com slash boost. Subscription fees do apply, and right now, we also have some legal information and that claim as of uh, quarter one, 2024, and it is validated by Radius Global Market Research. We are back. Locked on Golden Knights, Tony Cardasco and Chris Golick from Las Vegas. We appreciate you making us your first listen each and every day. Thank you so much for doing so. Of course, you can find us wherever you get your podcast. Apple is numero uno at the top of the list. Also, Spotify is up there, wherever you get your podcast. There's so many podcasts. I, You know what? There's so many different uh, platforms, Chris. I was going through this list where we get a lot of our followers and listeners, and it's just incredible. There's like dozens, dozens of podcasts. So definitely find us anywhere. And subscribe to the YouTube channel, Locked on Golden Knights. VGK looking to break out of the three-game losing streak versus Vancouver tonight. Um, of course, Thursday night, Golden Knights find themselves 14 points now behind the Canucks. And we thought that they might not stay on top. Uh, Golden Knights, they won the first meeting four to one. But Vancouver is a team, Chris, that is 11 and six against the Pacific. So this will be uh, a pretty difficult uh, matchup or game, I should say, for VGK. Um, Calgary, they're going to play Calgary now in the last, what are there, 21 games remaining? There's three meetings with, uh, said Calgary the, or Vancouver. Are we playing Calgary I've, three times? Or just Vancouver. Just Vancouver. You said Calgary. I know I did. I just want to get that in there probably. Okay. Against Make Vancouver. Sure attention. Three meetings. No, that wasn't, that, that was a real <laughs> screw up. Uh, three meetings in the final 21 games, 
for it. So they can make up a little ground, but I don't think they're obviously. I don't think they're going to catch them. Uh, they're vying. I well, think let's for win. they're going to win the president's cup. What are you talking about, Tony? Okay. So in, in any event, Jack Eichel a goal to assist in that first meeting. Help me here, man. I'm talking too much. No, so that first meeting, that's when the Golden Knights, if if we recall, they were slipping a little bit, right? Um, that road trip, if I remember. Was that November? When was that? November? It was. That was the game where Aiden Hill left for precautionary reasons that lasted for like a month. And then it became a real precautionary injury. Go figure. <laughs> no, that was November it was the 30th. Measures. Oh, my gosh. The precautionary measure became a precautionary injury. November 30th is when that game was. So if we recall... The Golden Knights, they got they got shut out by the Coyotes on a Saturday night, I believe. And then the Flames, the Golden Knights, lost them in overtime. Aiden Hill, uh, Ole, and late in the period trying to make a glove save. Um, Oilers was the next game the Golden Knights played back-to-back. Golden Knights looked better in that game, but they couldn't climb the hill. So things were looking good. Vancouver was playing well at the time. And the Golden Knights, they handled them that game. That was, in my opinion one of the few statement games the Golden Knights have had over the course of the season where they wanted to remind the Canucks and the Pacific that, hey, this is still our division. The Golden Knights are still the team to beat, obviously, since November 30th to March the 6th, March the 7th, whenever we put this out, things have changed a little bit with the Golden Knights, unfortunately. So still a good spot where the Golden Knights can send a message, not just to Vancouver, not just to the rest of the league, but just the message that, hey, we got a team all of a sudden. They got some new pieces. They got some some shiny new toys. And I think uh, you're going to see, I mentioned the morale boost uh, with the with the Mantha deal and now Hannafin. These guys should be in cloud nine coming in. Besides March or so, we might be mad about a contract. Everybody else should be in cloud nine coming into tomorrow's game. I feel that the so 20 last 20 games, right, of the season should all be like Major League Baseball. They should all be divisional games. They should all be in the division. Just There's probably a lot of them. I mean, Columbus. Go ahead. Tampa, you can New look Jersey. at that while I'm talking. Uh, yeah, the last no, game hard. out, last time out for Vancouver was that two to one win in overtime over the Kings. JT Miller had the game winning goal in overtime. Uh, I don't know if you saw this or not, but it was a delayed penalty. And so they had a four, they had a four on three there and they scored the, uh, the winning goal. It's pretty crazy. The um, all uh, overtime penalty, it never works out well. Yeah, never does, even if it's delayed. And then uh, Elias Pedersen, as we know, signed that very rich contract uh, a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago now. Of course, his agent, the super agent, Pat Briso Brisson, uh, eight years, $92.8 million. So a lot of big uh, contracts going around in the NHL. And Hannafin could be a fun week. Hannafin is he represented by Brisson too? Maybe it's probably not. Probably not Alan Walsh. I mean, we can start there. Oh, oh, jeez. Ah, and they're winning. They're winning puck battles. That's why Vancouver's winning games lately. Because I did catch a little bit of the contest the other night against the Kings, and they said one of the reasons why they're so successful, they're winning puck battles. So they did say that officially. I mean, listen, you're going to see a fun and engaged Golden Knights team uh, tonight at T-Mobile Arena, Thursday night, whenever I put this out. But it's going to be very interesting to see how the Golden Knights do respond against the Canucks. They're McCrimmon's buying in, obviously. McPhee's buying in. Foley's buying in. Of course, the fans are going to have probably the most excitement going into a game Thursday night you know, much more excitement than there's been. I mean, this has been a terrible road trip, call it what it is. February is really a month where the Golden Knights needed to, you know, make an upward movement, and they went down. So now this is when the excitement comes back. And, you know, McCrimmon, like I said, if the Golden Knights, if if this does backfire, Mm -hmm. it's also the type of moves that might Mm -hmm. get a GM fired. So Mm -hmm. McCrimmon, Mm -hmm. he's he's not afraid. He's got no fear. I don't think he's going to get fired, but he's got no no fear. And, um... We got some fun times ahead. We got some fun times coming up. Are we going to do our locks and prediction on this show or hold off and do it on Twitter? Just, just do it now. I'll take 30 seconds. Okay. My locks would have to be Anthony Mantha uh, right there in the bumper on the power play. And I'm going to go with Stevenson, who is uh, playing out of position, but still will score a goal. And uh, 
you have the capital line there, the no caps line, if you will, Stevenson and Mantha. Four to three VGK. I think they win, but I think they're going to slump a little still. Uh, Eichel, well, over under on the number of games before Eichel scores his first goal coming back off the shelf. He'll score probably Two. on Thursday night. Two. <laughs> He'll probably score Thursday night. Now well, that one I and a half, it. I'll take. I'll take the. But I was going to yeah, take over half, take three and a half. Over three and a half. Go ahead. What nah, are your? I'm going to go Marta So and Eichel. I'm going to go Marta So and Eichel. You know, you got some new blood coming to the team. This is a spot where you know the veterans who have been here for a while definitely want to get. You know, keep keep things rolling here. Keep things rolling, so to speak, and. You know, I don't want to say like a new start, but just the the veterans need to remind the new guys they've been here a while and show them what to do. So let's go March. So let's go Eichel and five three Vegas. Who's in goal? Logan. I think Logan. I think Logan should get the start. Okay, so he's not going to. He's not going to because that's not that what Cassidy does. But I think Logan should get the start. Okay, on Wednesday, Bjornfoot. <laughs> Uh, Bjorn Foot was activated, so he's going to play. Definitely going to the club now. Slew Foot. And then uh, Brisson, I guess, was called up, and Denisenko sent down. So that was pretty interesting there. Um, Busy, busy day on Wednesday around the NHL. Tarasenko to Florida. Henrique, who I thought could wind up here in Vegas. His name was mentioned a bunch. And Garrett go to Edmonton. Walker to Colorado. Johansson to Philly, where he was later waived. And then one of the perplexing trades uh, in the game that I watched in which uh, VGK played the Sabres, they were talking an awful lot on the Sabres broadcast about Middlestead and that they were shopping him around, but he uh, is traded uh, for Byram. So Byram uh, from Colorado to Buffalo and the Middlestead goes to the Avs. A very busy day. And those were just some of the highlights. And it's not I even think so. I think I think the GMs got mixed up. The trade deadline was today, not Friday. It's, it wasn't Friday. There's still a lot more trades, a lot more to happen. Of course, uh, we'll be back again on Friday with our WTF edition, and we'll recap the game against Vancouver and uh, much, much more. I'm sure we could have more moves by this weekend and by Friday. From my man, Chris Golick, I'm Tony Cardasco from Las Vegas. We appreciate you all tuning in, and we'll see you again next time on Friday for WTF right here on Lockdown Golden Knights. Take care.